understand you soon, it won't be long. Keep on, keep on. Hello guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. If you don't know who I am, I am Mr. Buddha Show. And today we're going to do a World of Warships tips for earning really good XP. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll have a weekly upload. And let's get into the video. So today we're going to talk about the topic of earning XP. So basically, XP is just uh, how much uh, you have progressed uh, with your vehicle so far in the game. The more XP and the more proficient you get, the more you earn and the higher tiers you go on. But right now, I'm going to give you a few tips. So first of all, one of the best ways uh, to earn XP is uh, to activate your boosters. Uh, your specifically Combat XP Booster 1. And what happens is, uh, usually wars, uh, World of Warship Blitz, Blitz usually gives them all the time. So if any boosters that are over within the three digits, you should capitalize on it and you should be using it frequently. Once in a while, you get a super booster, one and two, or you get a universal booster or ultimate XP super booster. But since... Uh, Combat XP booster is the most common. I'll recommend you getting that one. And also, I'll also recommend actually taking advantage of uh, Blitz uh, events uh, many times as possible. So as you can see on the very bottom of my screen, we will see basically a 300% increase. So we should capitalize on that very quickly. Let's go into a battle to show a little bit of a demonstration. So we're going to into a battle and we need to talk about and discuss a few of the tactics that is best used for a cruiser. Right now we're going in the cruiser. So a cruiser is uh, pretty good at beginning of the battle since a lot of destroyers tend to go into the middle of the battle and usually lose a lot of health. So. The cruiser, what it's supposed to do, one of the best tactics you should you should try out is that you go and avoid the enemy much as possible by going away from the battle and pick uh, and pick off any enemy ships ships that are alone. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um. So what you do is we should wait and we should just see what the map will show us so we're going to have to deal with two battleships three cruisers and two destroyers you have to know your destroyers your cruisers and your battleship and we're going to avoid the battle we're going to, so it's going to take a little bit of a while very fast but it's going to take a little bit of a while we're going to go into the northern part of the map to avoid much of the battle and just see What's the uh, opponent's ships are going to be placed at? So we're going, we're still going to the left. All right, we see a destroyer. Looks like they're going to see two destroyers. So this is what you want to avoid. Never go into directly the battle. That is the worst case scenario. As you can see. A lot of firepower just came raining down on top of that destroyer. As we can see, that cruiser over there, the Nuremberg, is not paying attention to me. Cruisers should capitalize on ships not paying attention to their surroundings. Why? Because they have very, very good rate of fire. Also, you should be very highly aware of your surroundings. So, let's activate sonar to check if there's any other enemy ships around us that we may not suspect. Right now he's using HE shells for a good chance of lighting me on fire. Also we see one volley of uh, torpedoes. Not bad. But I wouldn't recommend using torpedoes early on. Do you, you only use torpedoes when they're just near like under 5 kilometers or so. 
right we're going to get one more hit let's see no he left all right so we got the two battleships yeah so this cruiser's by itself so we're going to go and engage the enemy and we are still detected let's check on the battleships all right the battleships are preoccupied the Nuremberg decides to make himself very open very noticeable not not very good you only fire when you know that you're not going to get shot all right let's see not very good volley let's see if it hits let's see and no nothing all right one volley ah yeah there we go all right and I should be paying attention to the battleships let's see where the there's New Mexico and I see a sims you better watch out for destroyers any large uh, cruisers or battleships should be always attentive onto the map always be paying attention where are the destroyers at currently and because then those are very very dangerous opponents and you should be very active, very highly aware of your surroundings. Alright, I activated my sonar so I can detect the uh, destroyer and the Nuremberg. Right now we're not having any results. And we used up the ability. Now we're blind. Alright, alright, let's see. So we're progressed into mid battle where we're we're slowly approaching end uh, end phase end phase of a battle. As you can see the Nuremberg, the enemy in Nuremberg has sent uh, a volley of torpedoes expecting me but now since I am the guy going to get shot very badly we should be very careful. When I mean careful, I mean we should retreat, man. It's not gonna go well. Alright. We did a volley. Come on, turn. We gotta turn. Fiji has uh, put the attention onto us. Alright. Five hits. Keep avoiding the enemy. All ships are pointing away they're running away we're going to get in range all right let's see all right we're detected all right let's see which one we should be for. for battleships if cruisers are going to deal with battleships either one you hope for the best that the armor penetration will go through or two Action, use HE shells against the enemy. Ah, um, man. Well, it looks like uh, that's the end of the game. We did around 500, and we nearly lost all of our health. Alright, that's game over. Well, that was an expecting result, but the defeat was there. Alright, let's see how much XP has we earned. And I'll tell you a few tips uh, and uh, a few tricks for the cruiser. Alright, let's see. Let's see how it goes. We got 272 XP. One major factor for earning XP is whether you win or lose. But here's going to be our equipment setup. Well, my favorite equipment setup is aiming system modification one. Reason why is my main battery, my torpedo tubes can lock on onto the enemy faster, and I can uh, target my torpedo tubes onto incoming destroyers and have a better, much more likely chance to hit them. And then, uh, since cruisers and destroyers tend to have very, very low HP. We're going to have to choose Damage Control System Modification 1. It will reduce our fire and flooding resistance since fire and flood are pretty common into the game. They're pretty common in low to mid tier battles. And finally, we're going to use Propulsion Modification. 
you want to reach your enemies and you want to run away fast as possible it'll increase your max speed by pretty much a five percent as it says if you do the math it's uh, maybe like one or two knots but those one or two knots can make the difference and let's uh, look at our supplies our supplies are uh, improved crew rations we have a preventive maintenance pack and we have refined diesel so the reason why we I want you want to choose improved crew rations is you want to get those volleys of fire you want to get those shells into the enemy much as possible that is uh, the joke of the game you want to shoot much as volley possible because uh, accuracy is not going to be much of a big factor unless it's close range excuse me that's not that's not good it's you want to put out a volley of bullets faster especially in close range as you want to finish off your enemy and you don't want to get a torpedo hit second you want to have a preventative maintenance pack what you want to do is since cruisers and destroyers really have low HP many of them you should actually capitalize on this part that 3% can actually mean the difference between battle of victory and defeat and usually you lose a lot of HP to torpedoes so torpedoes are going to be a big factor in this one especially on a very very low HP ships and finally refined diesel you want to run and move and be mobile much as possible you can avoid shells incoming and you have around two or three seconds of response time you have that much time to move and get out of the way so you really want to move that will be one of my tips uh, for being into the cruiser thank you very much and I hope everyone enjoyed something and learned something today thank you Thank you.